White set to receive it. Antonio Williams, Bill Moffa back deep. Quinn Kastner sends it long. And Williams from the one. Calls for the fair catch. Well, it is the Dabo Sweeney show. It's already been that for a reason, Emac. And uh, Coach going to be mic'd up for us today as our guest analyst. We look forward to hearing more. Hey, it's not going to be a guest analyst. Hey, it's going to be host. That was totally impromptu. I didn't know we had a mic where I could talk to people. That was pretty cool. And that we was great. were looking at, like, is that the rock out there? Is that Dabo Sweeney? <laughs> <laughs> this is the, uh, the, the, the CFL, the Clemson Football League. Oh, I like that. <laughs> hey, we can probably Clemson sell that. Clemson Football Association right here. <laughs> that works. Coach, you couldn't oh. have picked a better day, by the way. Oh, Thanks man. for the date. Listen, you know, if you, got, if you did your spring game last Saturday, you got punished for having us right. the day before Easter. That's how God <laughs> operates. All right? And you get rewarded today. So this is awesome, man. What a, what a great crowd. It's going to be a great day. Cade Klubnik assumes controls with Phil Moffat. Right, and Will we're, coming out, we're coming out right here. You're going to love this. This is a little counter action right here. Uh, Matt with a little with a little screen built into it. All right, right out of the gate, Phil Moffa, Barrett Carter on the tackle. And coach, this is number one offense, number one defense, right? As, as much as we can camera. make it. You sure. know, we got a lot of guys sure. out. You know, no Peyton Page, no Trey Williams, no Ruko Ro Ro Ro, no Sheridan, no JP. So we're missing some guys, but it's it's the best we got right now. I guess the best we got, and uh, going to be a great great competitive day. I really believe. Comeback is there. Reception is made. Tempo seems a little faster, Coach Sweeney. Yeah, well, you know, it can go up or down depending on what we need it to be. We can hope to be able to dictate that. Cole Turner, the grab. Okay, so this is a tempo play right here. This is all a tempo play. At the line, Crick. And here they come. There's Makuba coming in right off the edge. It's a little hard to do a zone read on a blitzing safety. Pro probably, you know, he... <laughs> As we advance to that, that's one sure. he might can see and pull. Right. You know, the not sure. Yeah. Quarterbacks are not live for those who missed the memo on that. <laughs> Roy, another fun, unique part of this. Coach Riley, he's calling every play. He, he has no off days, right, Coach? Outside zone, says Dabo. Built-in screen, uh, and Antonio Williams slips. That's a chance, so that's a, that's a, that's a decision that he can make. Well, little third and long, Roy. And for the TFL, and Klubnik. <laughs> this is kind of like a change type of play, you know, a, a, a first down getter. Uh, basically, he can he just tagged him, all right, so he gave him a, a, a change to his route, but everybody else is kind of doing a change route. Down the flats. Oh, it's going to be the first decision for the head coach here. Short of the line to gain. Brandon Spector. First decision for uh, Coach Spiller. There he goes. They're punting. First decision for Coach Spiller. He's going to punt. So this is the, my favorite part of the broadcast. I have to chase the Energizer Bunny yeah. all the way down the yeah. field after this punt. So, I'm Roy, right you. I'm right behind get you. ready to run. You, I like it. You're going to get your steps in today, Mac. So that's Any particular a, that's a play right there where he needs to get his depth. Right. You know, when you right. You got to get to the sticks. Yeah. So you're gonna have to probably squeeze it a little bit longer because that was a third and long. Is there a particular reason why you wanted Riley calling every play? Yeah. Just so for not, ju just for continuity, because yeah. just like I did when Chad came in, when Chad came in in '11, that spring game, spring of '11, I did the same thing with him, and then that point, and then from then on we split. We'll do that next year too. Right. We'll we'll split it up, but with with the continuity and the newness. Of, of what we're doing terminology-wise sure. or signal-wise. Wanted to have him opportunity to just call both sides. Take a look at the game rules today. Quarterbacks, of course, are not live. You got place kicks and punts, same situation. Hamp Green just caught that last punt. All right, so not a, not a three and out right there. Got a little first down. Nice little grab by Cole Turner. Yeah, it was. He's had what? a good spring, is he? Yeah, he's had, a, he's had a great, you know, year. He's been here 10 months. You know, to this point, and it's really, he's really, really grown in that 10-month time. Got here last June. What we got? Hunter Helms in at quarterback. Quadzilla, the running back. He'll get the touch. <laughs> Just inside zone. And, you know, not many people know much about this kid, Dominique Thomas, but he was actually freshman of the year up there at Union College when he came out of high school, walked on here, and uh, 
saw what he could do right there with the inside zone. He's a downhill runner. He's a big, thick kid, but he's got loose hips. And uh, he's got great vision and great understanding. Here's Hunter Helms, you know, who's had a great spring for us. You're getting a chance to see a lot of guys. Here comes the counter. Great little, and, and that's what he does. Like, he, he, he's got great vision. He can hide behind the blocks, and then boom, he gets downhill. Next thing you know, he's finishing now. It's third and one. And that's, that's what this big back can do. So a little tempo play right here. Right oh, Thomas again. Hole opens up. First down. How about the move? Dominique Thomas. There he goes. <laughs> really, really good to see him get off to a good start because he's he and he and Keith Adams, who you'll see a lot today. We're really counting on those two guys to really give us the type of depth we need with with uh, Moffa and Shipley. Has either guy separated as maybe the third back? Uh, well, Dominique's ahead. Uh, just in that, you know, he's been here longer. He, he's got a little more understanding of what we're doing. Keith's been here 10 months. But, man, we're really impressed with, with young Keith Adams. Really, really tough downhill runner. You'll, you'll see that when he gets in there. He's, he's one of those guys you got to make a business decision to come tackle. Because he's a, he's, a, he's a sledgehammer, just like his dad played linebacker. That's right. <laughs> Strike to win and running back. Hey, Denhoff made that last stop. Second down. All right, little screen right here. Oh, don't get the block outside. Woo! That's Khalil Barnes right there. True freshman, mid-year. Mid-year just got here from Oconee, Georgia. He Come snipped on. that one out. He's a guy that uh, is going to help us this year. Really excited about him. Great athlete. Really, really one of those guys that had to make a decision, could have played either side of the ball. But really uh, excited about Khalil Barnes. And Green caught All right, that so screen. That's where we're at here. We're third long. All right, we got a little crossing type route here with a little, with a with a wheel route uh, attached to it. All right, there's his tight end. He's got him. Nice ball right there. Good, good read by Hunter Helms. Sage Ennis with a nice play. Ennis with the grab across the middle and a big gainer. Probably got the breath knocked out of him. Nice to play to number 11, Sage Ennis. Oh, the redshirt sophomore out of Graceville, Florida, Lincoln High School down. We'll step aside. Injury timeout here in Death Valley. Just underway in our first quarter. Of course, last season, an 11-win campaign, another ACC championship. Clemson head football coach Dabo Sweeney. And closing the season down, trying to get back there in 2023 as we welcome you back here in Death Valley. Hunter Helms, the quarterback under pressure, oh. fires one deep. A little miscommunication and incomplete. The young guy right there. How about K.J. Henry <laughs> stepping on, in? Hey, we got to introduce you we first. Just, he just stole the microphone <laughs> from, from Dabo. Hey, at least you gave him a heads up, yeah. right? Yeah, So I did. for I'm those, a, that, those, those, those that hear us, Going with a counter. Oh, a screen built screen in. Screen pass like built that. in if they need it. So, KJ, a lot of change last year, right? There's a new offensive coordinator coming in this year, defensive coordinator last year. What do you assess, man? A lot of these folks, man, sleeping on Clemson, saying it's over, it's uh, not going to happen anymore. What, what, do you, what do you assess we so love, far? We love when they sleep on us, man. <laughs> um, the guys, the young guys are, are mad because they see me at the facility every day. Uh, but I just love, you know, watching the growth of, of these players. And uh, something special is coming. You know, it's, it's continued success here. Another championship coming to, to Death Valley in Come Clemson, on. South Carolina. Uh, we just reloaded, man. And, and you'll see that here today. Everybody can't see the scheme and, sure. and things we're really bringing this fall. But uh, definitely the talent's there. So a lot of young guys out here, especially right now, Wade Wood has. Mm -hmm. Wade Wood has. All right, we're going to have vert routes yeah. here with a shallow by our extra receiver. definitely is for this defense. Good pro. He uh, got a chance. Oh, good ball. Oh, it's not a bad, not a bad ball. He's got to keep coming right there. All right, got a decision right here. He's kicking a field goal. Okay. On you. Coach, you like that decision? Hey, don't be looking. Hey, hey, don't be looking at me. <laughs> KJ, would you kick this or go for it? That's you. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't Fourth be looking at me. My eight. Yeah. I'm trying to get I'm a, him. I ain't I'm making that guy. decision. I mean, I got to go for a plus side. Um, but I get today, you know, losing losing a great BT Potter that we had last year. We gotta we gotta figure that out for next year. This kid's really developed. He's he's created some confidence. Robert Gunn is as talented as we've ever signed, really. And this kid is is really kind of separated those two and created some competition. Good. That's Liam Boyd. That's a big kick right there. Split for the Liam Boyd. How about it? No bias. 
No bias, but we have the best holder in the nation. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, going back to Wade real quick hey, before he, he jumps us. Yeah. Which he's probably about to. About to. So, Wade, oh, I think he's the guy that can be kind of Isaiah Simmons-ish. I mean, is, am I crazy to think that because he's that versatile? He's very versatile. Um, he's definitely in that box. I ain't going to, you know, put a name on him like that. Sure. Because uh, Zay is definitely very proven. <laughs> but he's definitely, he's, he's long, he's fast, man. He's versatile. He's very smart. Right. Uh, for a, a linebacker coming in so young, he knows the game and, and plays at a very high level. So, he can. The, the sky's the limit for him. There's no Who would have thought it. that that was the linebacker that I started with? Yeah. With Jeremiah yeah. Strotter. <laughs> wow. Uh, with Barrett Carter there. I mean, those two guys. I mean, we're talking about best in the entire country, right? Yeah. Great, a great room. I promise you, we're uh, we're good at linebacker. <laughs> we are good at linebacker. So, hey. so those guys made a jump, Roy. Like, like what yeah. was it, KJ, last year that freed them up to play so well? Yeah. Um, I think just growth, maturity, because both of them, you know, athletic freaks and and very smart, uh, you know, as it comes to the game of football. But just another year of growth, understanding the defense, which allows you to play faster, as you know. So, uh, you know, they, they were definitely, you know, making all the calls this year and, and playing fast. Yeah, I, I love to see it, man. Well, you think about great talent, Jeremiah Trotter, Eric Carter getting it done for yeah. the Tigers. And there's, there's draftability oh, in the no, middle of this no Clemson doubt. defense, KJ. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be gone, you know, they both stay healthy next year. They'll be gone very early, very <laughs> early in the draft. Got as many as three first-round picks coming off yes, that sir. defense from last year as well. As we continue here at Death Valley, just underway. Hey, we could have dialed up better weather oh for today, right? One thing about Clemson, Feels man, good. it just it's, it's bipolar. It goes back and forth as far as how it wants to feel. <laughs> and I'm glad it's a great day. A great, a great day today and, and how it's wanted to feel, man. Okay, I, I hope that you play for 10, 20 years so I can keep my job. Oh, brother. You go. Yeah. We appreciate you joining you can me. Do it. Thanks, We're gonna bring man. you back in the fourth quarter. Of course. Get coach to, to dial up some no plays doubt. here for us. Appreciate yeah, Mafa appreciate and Klubnik. And Klubnik will oh, fling it out in the flats. Well, Moffa's had a great spring. That's been one of the big topics we've heard this week. So we've gone through practice, and Moffa, he's going to be, he's going to have a chance to showcase himself a little bit today with no Will Shipley. Yeah, no, there, there's no doubt about it, man. And I think when you look at that, just a, a guy that has such great reps, talking about Moffa and the oh, things that man. he can do. Oh, man, he's going, he, he's, he's special, guys. All right, we got a little quick game concept here, a little stick route with a spot. Stick concept with a spot. Take and Klubnik going deep. Oh, oh, push a little shoving incomplete. Oh, they got a flag. Oh, Late got a penalty flag. marker. Oh, man, got a flag. That was Specter running long. Spectre. And the coverage by Nate Wiggins. Hey. Holding. Holding. Number, Number two. two. Good Defense. things happen when you Two-yard take shots. Penalty. That's right. <laughs> Automatic first down. That's my mindset. Are we going to see uh, Burning still featured at some point here in this first quarter? It, it all depends on what happens. It could. It could. Looks like he's lined up with slot receiver. Massive tight end. He's got all kinds of possibilities. Oh, this is going to be a little boot. Oh, look out. Look out. A boot look out. pull, and we're going to take a shot right here. This is a hold on to your hat right here. Now he's got to set up oh, and throw back. He's got him. Got Open. a chance. That's easy. Oh, what a play. That's pride, isn't it? It's two, three. Great play by Toriano. He laid it up just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little more. Up, the one thing about Cole Turner, and that's the great thing about this moment right here, because Cole can really run. Sure. And he could have let that. He kind of he tried to try to soft it in there, but he could have laid that out there a little more. Cole, go get it. But what a play by Toriano. What, great what's play. The, what's the comparison for 2-2 two, two right there? I mean, he's a freaky guy. He's unique, long. man. He's unique. He's probably top two fastest, top three certainly really? on the team. Maybe wow. the fastest. Wow. But he's just, it's all in front of him. I mean, he's just going to be a, he's going to have a great year. He's got a great mindset. He's tough as they come. And just a very, very, there you go. There's there Brady. is. So he got a little play act, a little pop pass right there. The tight end. Looked like middle of the field to me, Big Mac. That's right. Hey, twice already. You know, but that's, that's the type of throw we got to have where, you know, these guys, even when there's traffic and they're covered, they're open with a guy like Brady and Sage. Give him 23 on the play. Here comes right, Mappa. Here's the counter again. Again, good, good little drive going right here. Nice on schedule. All right, so we're going to Trips concept here, and we're going to have, we're going to have a, a what we call a follow type concept, follow, which you're gonna have a drive, you'll have a, a, a dig coming in there, and you got a you got a one on one built in. There's the drive, he took that, so staying on schedule should be close to the first down right there. Antonio Williams, 
you know what I saw in that play? I know we're, we're offensive guys here on this broadcast. I saw 54 and I saw zero. Making plays. Those two linebackers, coach, man. Oh, man. They're, they're special. I'm not sure I'm going to let them play a whole lot. I better enjoy <laughs> it. I, so I talked to Barrett about that last night, coach. And Barrett Carter said he hopes he plays the whole game. I said, son, how about the first two drives and let's take a seat? Chance for the quarterback to run this one here, depending on the look we get. And he did. All right, he's down. Right there. So that's, that's kind of your, um, you know, zone read with, with a bluff concept right. built into it. Off your split flow type of zone. Try to with a stop there. Coach, knowing you have those two great running backs and, and more depth behind them, what's your perfect number for Cade running the football in a game? Do, do you have a number in your head? <laughs> no, because, you know, a lot, of his a lot of his best plays are going to be off schedule. Yeah. You know, he, he's, he's, he's got the ability to really create with his legs. So he'll have some natural plays that if they're going to give us that, we're going to take it. And, he, and ball's gone, ball's gone, ball's gone, ball's gone, ball's gone. That makes Pope. That was close. He probably got hit right there. They're going to be mad at me for not calling that. I ain't looking. Well, we can looking. tell the crowd about that. Look, Nick's mad at me. He's Nick's, staring at you. Nick's mad at me over here. <laughs> we, we inf and just tell our views, coach. You're the one that calls the sacks. I'm calling the sacks. <laughs> That's was, why we distract was, him. We're all trying to be guys. a little tighter this year. I, 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 I graded myself. I didn't do a very good job last year. <laughs> Self scout. Club. Okay. All right. Go. There we go. Sack. He was going down. There we go. That was Barry Carter. Look at him. <laughs> Shot out of a cannon. <laughs> yeah, that hey. would. Hey, that would have hurt, Clubnik. That would have hurt. That would have left the mark. <laughs> So, you know, it, it's, it, you know, every game is different. Sure. You know, styles of play, who you're playing, you know, what's their philosophy. Some teams are going to spill things. Some teams are going to box things. Some teams are going to chase. Some teams are going to, you know, there's just so many things. Some some teams are going to really mess charge. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. But the bottom line is he's got to make plays with his feet yeah. in, in all areas, run and pass. Man, Second what a hit. Long. So you see the strength of Mava right there. Oh! was Makuba with a clean shot. And that's what happens when you don't wrap up. Sure. That's why, you know, some of those sacks that they want to be sacks aren't always sacks. All right, going tempo right here. What a great run by seven. Fantastic. That should have been a TFL, right? So Makuba makes the right plays, just got to wrap up. Mapa straight ahead. And see if he made it for the touchdown. Little laundry on the right. Got a face mask. They'll decline that. Results of the play are touchdown, personal foul, face mask, defense, that penalty being forced on the kickoff, touchdown. First touchdown of the afternoon, the white on the board, Bill Maffa with the honors. All right, Roy, they're going to go for three here, you think, or two? or what? That would be fun if we had that. <laughs> a little mix of worlds, huh? I like it. All right, Coach, that was a heck of a drive, huh? Yeah, man, good response. Great drive, great drive. And, you know, he's telling Makuba right there, you know, that should have been a TFL. He makes the right play. But Robert, you gotta, you gotta, you're not gonna knock not like Moffa down. You gotta wrap him up and hold on. Gun's so, done a nice job. Yeah, he's season. had a great spring, man. He's Good. got a big, big leg, and like I said, he and Liam have kind of separated, and it's shown me some great competition. So, which is what we needed. We really needed that to happen. Life after BT Potter. We'll step aside. Seven to three. The White leading the Orange here at Death Valley. 7-3 White leading the Orange. Eric McLean, Roy Philpott. Also with us here on the sidelines. All three of us are down here, which is fantastic on a day like today. Taylor Tannenbaum, who had her first experience on the hill. And Taylor for Clemson Nation. Hey, what was it like? Describe the experience. All right, well, first and foremost, I'm a little out of breath because it is deceiving how steep <laughs> this hill is. I just came from the other side of the field, walked up this thing. I'm in the thick of it. There's a ton of fans here hanging out. I, I really, I was up there with you, Roy. And, you, ought and do, I thought, you ought to do it in front of 85,000. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got the chills standing up there. It's just a different environment. I know it's just the spring game, but look at the turnout here. You guys Come on, Taylor. Look at her. She's on the jump uh, but, I, but I will say, hey, Jumbotron, what's up, everybody? Come on. <laughs> Keep it PG so that nice we're doing spread. a nice job on again. Uh, but I will say, no one warned me that there was a cannon before they run down this hill. So I'm a little offended that none of you Clemson guys warned me. I, I might be scarred for life. Hey, welcome to the Valley. <laughs> welcome to the Valley. Team. Khalil Barnes with the PBU. Great stuff. Yeah, no, another great play by the young mid-year. Another great play. What we got? All right, inside zone. 
with a screen built in. Just trying to get back on schedule right here. Now you got third and long. Third and long. Wade Wood has the tackle. So you got young Noble Johnson out here, number three. We're really excited about he's him. He's a mid-year. He's a mid-year from Texas. Man, super, super skilled and talented and just got all the tools. He's, he's swimming. It's been a lot this spring, but, man, he's got, we're really, really excited about him. Physically, he's incredibly mature. All right, so, again, change-type concept, trying to get the first down. Got to hold the ball a little bit. A little bit off right there. Got to punt. Noble, the intended receiver. Oh, That'll bring the white up team down. with a little momentum, Matt. Come on. The white team with a little momentum. Coach, what's the, what, what do you get if you win or lose this deal? What's right, the reward? So, so, you know, a big thing in our program is accountability. Yep. So, you know, the accountability points. So the winning team gets plus three on the accountability because you don't, you're not going to start here if you're negative in accountability. So, so it's a big deal for them anytime they can grab some accountability points because they're held accountable from January to January for everything that happens within the program. Antonio Williams back deep to receive. All right, so Aiden Swanson had a pretty solid spring right here. Turned it over. <laughs> Williams is Good there. job, athlete. Come on, I mean, Seven to three. White leading the orange. Under four to go. First quarter, Death Valley. Well, a good start for Kate Klubnick back at the orange and white spring game. A seven for eight passing, 63 yards. And last year really started to kind of feel things in the ACC championship game. Going back to that win against North Carolina, Emac. And he's ready to take the next step on a day like today, running a new offense with new coordinator, Garrett Riley. Yeah, that, that's exactly right, Roy. When, when you talk to him, I went to practice earlier this week and said, it's your show. You're All right, coming out with a little screen right here. And he said, yeah, I'm ready. Coach, what, what's been the different, biggest difference of Cade this spring? Now that it's his team, his offense, He's QB1. Well, the, the biggest thing, he's been here a year, but just, just physically, he's, he's way different. You know, he's about 20 pounds heavier. Wow. You know, he was light when he got here. So physically, he's in a better spot. And now he's just, he knows what it looks like. He's got, he's had a tour of duty, if you will. He's got experience and he's got really good knowledge. He's, he's been in some games, he's had some big moments. He's had some mistakes, but he's, he's been a leader from the, from day one. But now he's really just, you know, asserted himself since he really took it over there in the championship game of, hey, this is my team, and his eyes have been forward. But he's a great worker. He's always on the field. He's always got the guys pulling together, and, and uh, he's picked things up really well. This yeah. has been a natural fit for him uh, with Garrett. All right, that's great. We love talking offense, but that was Peter Woods who just made the tackle on Keith Adams, coach. <laughs> Peter Woods. Yeah. Peter Woods. Yeah, he's a dude. Uh, he's a problem. Uh, he's he's going to be, you know, with Ruka row, row, row out, and you can see that guy run. He got rid of it, got rid of it, got rid of it, got rid of it, threw it away. Look he's, at mad. he's mad at you. Already begging. So with, with Rook out, with Trey Williams out, and with Peyton Page out, and those are all future NFL guys, man, Peter Woods Peter and Vic Woods Burley and Steph Island Green have had a chance to really get a ton of work this spring. But Peter Woods is a guy that it's rare. He's like, you know, a Haley's Comet. Like, <laughs> you know, every now and then you get a guy that physically and mentally and maturity and, and all the intangibles, he's just ready. And uh, so, man, we're blessed to have that young man in our program. You're going to see him early uh, and often. Five-time state champion Peter Woods coming in from Alabama and wreaking havoc in spring practice so far. Tough, tough, tough punt right there. Creates some great field position. It, it almost looked like it hit somebody. I thought maybe it hit good, one good, of their good guys. Good to see the orange team respond right sure. there. You know, good to see those guys get after the quarterback, get a three and out. Taylor's got more on Peter Woods. Taylor, we met him yesterday, an impressive guy, right? Impressive in size, but really quiet. So you would never know when he puts that 11 on. He goes crazy out there. I talked to Jeremiah Trotter Jr. about him because he has a front row seat, right, at linebacker. He said he was watching film one day after practice. He wouldn't name the offensive lineman, but he saw Peter Woods get out of his stance and just right, shove the old lineman with one team. arm. A coach may remember the moment, but he won't name the offensive lineman, but he said <laughs> at that moment he knew Peter Woods was the real deal as a freshman. The Zena, the quarterback. Oh, man, here we go. Nice little cut right there by Hamp Green. I tell you what. 
We love this kid, CB, man. Yeah. He's, uh, he's big. He's, he's bigger a big than guy. I thought. Not only is he big, he can really, really run. Wow. He can really, really run. He can make all the throws. And, man, we're blessed to have him. And, you know, we, he's only 17 years old. Right. Uh, so he's, he's just, I think, a, a future star for us and a guy that's really bought in our plan for him. You know, especially having a young guy. And that's rare to see a young guy really kind of buy into that. So, you know, we hope we can redshirt him if it all works out, playing four games, getting some experience. But there's a lot of factors that got to go into that, you sure. know, with what happens with public and staying healthy and all that. But um, we really, really feel like he's got a chance to be a, a, a great player here. Uh, he's already fit in. He's picked things up. So it's good to see him get in there right now and see if he can make a little move. You can yeah. see him run here. Look at it. All right. Got a great feel, but I'm telling you, when he gets going, he can he can motor. Yeah. Coach, how, how valuable is that, what you just said, that you kind of skimmed over it, but just for our listeners, for our viewers, those four games that right. you can still get in red shirt, I mean, that wasn't a thing when I was playing. No, That's a new rule. It wasn't, and, you know, as coaches, we're all hoping that they'll take it a step further and let them have the four games, but post not have postseason count because with the portal and you got all these kids leaving programs in December, then it's a well, roster thing. You, you I mean, you just don't have enough guys yeah, sometimes. You need, they need to be able to just play in the postseason. So hopefully that's something we can get to. That's a common sense thing if you ask me. But, you know, good good to see him get out here and get his first experience in the Valley. Aiden Swanson. I'll tell you what, that was a heck of a stop right there by the white team. Defense is turning up a little bit right Getting here. a little defense going because, you know, great field position. Another, no, another, another three and out, two three and outs back to back. Is there a guy defensively that we know the stars, we know everybody who's coming back. Is there a guy that this spring has really just stepped up and, and used the most of this opportunity? Oh, my gosh. There's been a bunch of those guys. But, man, Wade Woodhaves. Yeah. You know, Wade Woodhaves is, is he, he's got a really bright future in the game of football. He's, he's become a leader for us. Just love that kid. Love everything about him. You know, T.J. Dudley. Khalil Barnes is a young guy that's coming here as a mid-year, taking advantage, his, advantage of his opportunity. I think Tristan Lee yeah. getting a chance to start at left tackle all, all spring with Marcus Tate out has been invaluable, and his confidence is through the roof well, right I, now. Coach, I remember him coming in, and, and you know, we weren't sure if he'd make it on the field that Yeah, yeah. Well, he was, you know, he didn't get to play in 20 because he covered COVID. Yeah. And, he, you know, just one of them big guys that got sloppy and out of shape. And when he got here, he wasn't very strong and just had so much to learn. And, man, that kid, he's one of my favorite kids on this team because nobody works harder than Tristan Lee. And he is he's one of those guys that has fully taken advantage of this this spring. Harris Sewell, Linthicum, Trent Howard. I mean, just really super proud of those guys and their development. All right, got a, got a clock. And brought down the Get TFL. Yeah, the clock he's talking about, quarterbacks got to get rid of it on an extended play like quarter. that. And, and, you know, that's what's so hard, Roy, because when you look at a guy like this, he wants to create, he wants to get it going. 7-3 to three our score. We are 15 minutes in. Spectacular Saturday in Death Valley. Come back with us. Seven three our score back in Death Valley. The upcoming schedule this fall, of course, the Monday night opener against Duke. That's on the road once again. Clemson showcase on that Labor Day evening. And you roll through the schedule: Notre Dame, Miami. Interesting road trip to close it down, of course, against our rival South Carolina. Will Shipley on the sidelines today watching this orange and white game. Phil Moffa back on the field with Cade Klubnik. Right, com coming back with that little deep crossing route with a with a wheel route. He's doubled. He's good. Ball's gone. Printing good stool. Ball. Nice ball. Another grab. Traffic across yeah. the middle. Oh, short. Got a little bit out of it, but, but it, we, got, we got a fourth down situation. And, you know, and that's what I was talking about with Cade right there. You know, he took that sack. Right. And that's what I call purple jersey syndrome. Purple you know, jersey syndrome. Describe purple that. Purple jersey syndrome. So you know we got to protect the quarterbacks and not going. But what happens sometimes is when it's been a while since they've had, you know, the chin strap knocked off their helmet, uh, they get a little cozy in the pocket, and all of a sudden that internal clock isn't as is uh, tuned up as it needs to be. Yeah. And you hold the ball a little longer. So and that's what happens. So well, you make quarterbacks back. live in spring ball. At times, I have. Haven't you? I have. <laughs> hey, that was dangerous. But we're a little thin right now. So. <laughs> That ain't happening unless you're going to come play for the Tigers. <laughs> <laughs>
Smith will punt it away. All right, all right, not bad. Not bad there, Jack. Young punter right here. Got a big leg. Young guy, freshman. Ham Green makes the clean reception. And away we go. Are you pleased with what you've seen so far, Coach, yeah, just with the defenses yeah. stepping up, as you mentioned? Yeah, well, first of all, you've seen, some, seen a few nice little plays here and there, but good to see. I wanted to see Dominique Thomas kind of get some runs. Right. I, I knew Moffa would make some plays here and there. But I, I'm loving to see in this defense on both sides and these young guys. I mean, you look out there and you see some of these young guys. It's just fun to see, man. They're making some plays. They've settled in a little bit. But we got a ways to go. You're going to see some... You're going to see some explosive. We've got a few things getting set up. I, I know uh, G Money's going to dial up in a minute. Maybe some <laughs> trick plays, E Mac. I like hearing that. I'm fine si with si that. Excited to see CCB again here. See if they can get something going. A little run game again. Nice run. Look at Well, they call Great him Quad Zilla coach for a reason, right? He's pretty strong. All right, so I want y'all to look at this offensive line right here. We got Talk a walk on at right tackle. Great young kid. Brian Tucker at right guard. Trent Pearman. Uh, Trent Pearman. Trent Howard at center. Super excited about what he's done. True freshman Zach Owens at left guard and Sadler, who's a freshman at left tackle. It's just really good to see those guys having some success moving the ball on the ground right here. How about how about Zach Owens right here? Yeah. This might be one of the biggest Coach, freshmen you got a six, ever. Seven guy playing on the interior. What are we doing? And I'm really proud of him because he's <laughs> he's he's uh, he tore his ACL last year, so he got a little heavy, but he's really bought in and he's working down. He's, he's down almost you know 25 plus pounds. And uh, he's on his way. He's going to be a good one. He's got the right mindset. Colin Sadler, we think, can be special. He and Blake Miller we signed last year. And then this year, Ian Reed and uh, Zach Owens and Harris Sewell. There you go. Oh, got a little holding call right there. A little holding. Denhoff got decked. A little holding call. <laughs> right on the logo. Holding. He's going to have to take that because CD. Ten but again, yard penalty. Nice play by CD. Down. Right. You know, really good play by CD right there. That's a that's a productive off schedule play. Quick recognition. Quick Let's recognition. Go. Stepping up in the pocket. Feel it. Coach, you guys had some success recruiting Alabama. You got CV from there. Peter Woods from there. Okay. All right. We got a little pop pass off the inside zone right here. We're gonna have a little inside zone to the left with a pop pass. Maybe hit five. Oh, oh we got a snap. Get rid of it. All right, he's gone. Ball's gone. Ball's gone. Ball's gone. That's a shame. Williams applying the pressure that time. 99 in white. Now bring up third down and long, Emac. <laughs> hey, coach, you said I got it. I got it. Hey, that's the last thing any offensive lineman wants to hear. When we mess up, especially when it's we know. a freshman talking right. to a third-year player. <laughs> Amazing how that works. Uh, he said, hey, freshman, just relax, man. Right. I'm sorry. See this okay. dog I have in front of me? A hard count right there. They didn't take the bait. All right, just going to take a shot. They're going to play deep. So going to take a shot. We might have a chance to hit the comeback here. Let's see what happens. Now they, they get rid of it. Denhoff coming in. I think that was my left tackle right there and a great play by Denhoff. Nice job. All right, punt team. Defense starting to get a little pressure on these young offensive linemen. Clock running here in our second quarter. Orange and white game, 7-3. White leading the orange. Evan Only touchdown Bazzina. scored by Phil Moffitt. If you're just tuning in, we've seen Kate Klubnick. We've seen Christopher Bazzina on her helms at quarterback so far. All right, I got a feeling something good is getting ready to happen on this next drive. <laughs> oh, man. Dialing up something. A little insider trade information. I, I love the access. Hey, Mac, it does feel like the XFL today so far, I by the way. I love it, brother. Antonio Williams will dance away from it. It'll That's carry him back good. the other way. Welcome back to Clemson, South Carolina. The Texas two-step coming to Tigertown here. Riley, of course, coming in from TCU. Cade Klubnick from Westlake High School, booming metropolis of Austin. Back here on the field, Emac, Phil Pot. Taylor Tannenbaum hanging out with us. And uh, yeah. Along with the guys. Oh, yeah. We appreciate it. And uh, it's an interesting story to get two Texas natives over here, right? Yeah. Right, a little split flow zone so, right so that's here. how it kind of oh, works, right? It took them. And he's going to get coach. There's Keith Adams. All right, get him a little action. You're going to see. Now that he's got Moff out, you're starting to see, uh, you'll see Keith. That's why we put Keith over here. He knew he'd get a lot of reps. Really, really tough physical runner. Tackle on the play. Armand Mason. 
with the so last So you see stop. Harris Sewell out here right now, man. He's he's had an unbelievable spring. His kids from Odessa, Texas. Texas and Alabama. We got a lot of the, those yeah. guys on the roster. Blake Miller's from up in uh, Ohio. Uh, big Tristan Lee. Oh, nice job. Good good pickup right there. Back shoulder, no. Banks Pope. Big Banks Pope. Hey, if that ain't a good Clemson name. Banks Pope. <laughs> Banks Pope. <laughs> Sounds almost religious around Banks these parts. Banks Pope. I, 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 can't, I call him Pope Banks half the time. I don't know which, <laughs> which sometimes I'm not getting confused. But he's Banks Pope. Long-time Clemson fan and just a great kid coming off a knee injury. Third down and seven. Adams the running back. That story's coming, I promise, Taylor. It's coming. All right, Nick. Should be a first down play. That's a change. There's old Banks Pope. That's complete to number 44, Banks Pope. That's what it looks like when you get your first catch. You kind of, is he really throwing it to me? Is he really throwing it to me? Am I open? I catch Oh, I really got it. That's his first, first catch right there. That's a first down. Big time play for 44. Big time play. Nice job, Banks Pope, baby. All right, so here we go. We got a little clips. There it is right there. Ah, oh, gotta on. hang on to the ball. Come on, hang on to it. A little low. Specter in and out of the mitts. So we had a we had a we had a we had a screen off the off the, the, the counter play right there. So a lot of lot of misdirection. Why, why is he throwing that? What what, what makes it's him a called that? screen? Gotcha. It's a, it's, that was not a read, but it's just off of the the the, the, the pull. Right. right. So we're showing that. Getting so it's outside. built in off the run game, but it, that's a called play. Loving 10 of 14 for 90. All right, so we got a little verts concept right here. That's what I'm talking about. And with a tight, tight bunch here. Let's see what happens. All right, they switch the releases. Got a yeah. chance, got a chance. Look at that. Did he nice catch grab. it? Oh, nice yeah. grab, Brandy. Oh, yeah. And, and now, now, you see, that right there, nice job. He fills it, but then he extends. So that's a play off schedule. You know, you're going to have rhythm plays, but what he can do is he can make those plays off schedule. Is that, is that one of his best attributes in your it's, mind? Well, just to I, mean, create? I, I think his accuracy, I mean, he's got a lot, he's got everything that you want in a quarterback, but but when you have a quarterback who can really create like that, hmm. oh, what I tell hit. you? Big hit. That's, that's, that's the nice. sledgehammer. That's uh, nice. But, uh, you know, he just, he, he's a problem because you can draw it up on the board, great, but when any time, because there's this clock, and, you know, when, and when a quarterback can extend and it's five seconds, six seconds, it's hard to, it's hard to keep him covered. Cloud you know, that last stop some, on Adams. Oh, he should have hammered that. But some, he overthought that. Some, some of your biggest plays in the passing game comes off of plays that get extended. And that's what I love about him is he's a really good pocket passer. He really understands the game, but he's an accurate thrower on the move as well. So he's got the ability to really create some of those explosives where things break down. And that is what drives defenses crazy when, when you can make those plays. And he's just fast enough to outrun people. Uh, and now he's, you know, again, he's, he's physically matured. Uh, got, a, got a chance, I think, to be, you know, one of the greats to come through here. I'm super excited about him. Great throw, Antonio accurate Antonio throw. Williams, there he is. Really, really accurate, accurate. Accurate throw. Coach, you love the yak right there. The legs never stop churning. Well, you know, this kid's a freshman All-American last year for a reason. Had a great, great rookie campaign. He and 22, you know, 20, 22 will be a redshirt freshman. Man, those two guys are going to really make a lot of plays this this, um, this season. But, you know, that what you love. So out of the pocket, a quick game concept, but an incredibly accurate throw. And that's, that's the precision that we have to get back in our passing game and uh, excited to see that play right there. First and goal from the five. Maffa, the running back behind Klubnik. How about a little inside zone right here? They you it? Yeah, they Maffa. stretch it out. Got to get to the edge. He's going to be bottled up. Great job by the D. A little TFL. That's a great job by the D. Well, well you just saw the athleticism of the guys right there. I mean, they're scraping over the top. That's a play you think you can get leverage so, on, and they just close so fast. So again, this whole drive was extended off an off-schedule play where the defense did everything right. They did everything right. They covered them, everything's right, and, but he extends, and they get a nice play, and then Brady makes a good competitive play, and they extend this drive, and now here they are. Okay, you're going to see our Z guy right here on a little crossing concept. All right, a little two tight end, 12 personnel. 
Got a little Griffin bat in the game. Banks. All right, good job getting rid of it. Nice play by Mickens. Nice play. Right over the back of Pope. RJ got it done. Number nine in orange. It's third down and goal, Coach. All right, third down. Let's see what we need here. Third and goal. Was it about uh, seven? Yeah. All right, let's see what this play call is. This, this could, this could, uh, this could, this could, uh, I'll probably kick it here, but it could be a two down territory depending on what we get. Okay. Going for it? Okay. Okay. Oh, we got excited. something cooking. He's excited. All right, so we're in our three by one here to the left. All right, got a little, got a little, kind of a, like a little slip concept. All right. Again, this is what he does. This is what he does. Now you got a decision here. Fourth and goal. Oh, Inside the three. Oh, what's Coach going to do? We're going for it. Can we influence a little bit? Let's go. Ball's on the two. CJ Spiller's thinking about it. He's going to call timeout. Oh, he's going to call timeout. Oh, he's flustered. Look at it. He's saying, hey, y'all settle down. <laughs> I got this. What, what goes into the decision? Mean, you see this play right here? I mean, that's, he's a that, that's the problem. Why choose to give guys these roles? Like, I don't saw that either, oh, but did you see Peter Woods? The first charge taking him out down, tracking. <laughs> what would have been great if we'd have had more grass and we'd have had about 40 yards? That would have been fun to watch. Uh, Fourth down and goal coming up. Well, CJ just, Spiller has a decision to make when we come back here in Clemson. Come back with us. Saturday afternoon back in Death Valley. Fourth down and goal coming up. Less than seven to go in our first half. Emac, Philpot, Coach right. Sweeney going to tell us what's going down. All right, let's see what kind of decision this quarterback's going to make. So we got a, we got a, a, a read concept, a zone read, or an inside zone call where he can handle it. But we also got where the, the tight end is going to bluff and he's oh, going to be in shovel? the We're going to be in the – oh, no, no, no. Call, okay, call timeout. Timeout. Orange team. First charge hey, time hey, out hey, so, so you got a little kind of free release out. to the flat off of the run game here. We'll see if they change it. We got a free release to the flat off the run game. Left or and he's going to read if the backer stays in the box for the run or if they go to cover him. And if they don't, you know, if they go out, we're going to handle sure. If I, they kind of hesitate and we get a little bit of grass, he'll give him the ball. I, like so I got, I got Nick decision. Easton right here. I, I want to see what he's thinking is going to happen right out. here. I like the timeout. A little gamesmanship. Well, hey, man, we just we just got to make sure we be alert. All right, Finney tried to trick him. I just gave to our of defensive coordinator, like, hey, man, if you don't like what you see, so he didn't like what you see, we use a timeout right here. Uh, but I'm sure, man, they got something on the sleeve right here. I feel some trick he's going to have. Yeah, probably so. Maybe some type of pop pass or some type of reverse. Then they got some guys that can go, so we'll see what happens. Thanks, Coach. Nick Easton, head coach of the Orange team. <laughs> Love it. All right, here we go. Man. That was brilliant. That was awesome. All right, so here we go. Same play. We're going to have, like, the Same split deal. flow. Okay. So you'll see Banks Pope right here who's going to end up in the flat right now. He's got him. He's got him. Pick six. See you oh, later. Oh, Nick oh, the interception. It. Mickens came up with it off the carom, and it was Jabal Anderson that got a fingertip on it. Hey, what a play. Who tipped that? Jamal Anderson. Hey, get it. Number 30, Man, that Jamal was tough, Anderson boy. Oh, he had it. He made the right decision. I don't know who tipped it, but just a little bit more air right there, and that's a touchdown. Great stop. Great stop. Great stop. Man, that's tough, brother. You get all the way there. And then turn that thing over. Coach, it was Anderson that, that was able to tip it. Oh, Anderson. Uh, Jamal Anderson. Save. Potential touchdown. Hunter Helms back on the field with Dominique Thomas. Still 7-3. to three. How about that stand, e back? You love to see it, man. If you're a defensive guy, I'm an offensive guy, and I hate it. Thomas, the vision. I do like that running ability, though. I'll tell you, he's got great vision. Yeah. And, and, he, and he's got really good hips, and when he's downhill, he's a, he's a load. Seven-yard pickup. All right, so we're going to buzz the back over, and we're going to run inside zone to the right. And feed, feed 20 a little bit here. I think they're going to try to create some field position. That was a heck of a stop right there, man. Thomas will try to bounce it out, then back in, shove backwards after a short game. That was T.J. Dudley that got there first on number 20. Third and three. Third 
Hunter Helms, redshirt sophomore out of West Columbia. All right, so quick game concept. Going to have a slant backside stick concept here to the field. All right, going to take the, going to, oh, that's a P.I. Wow. Oh. Wow. Hampton Earl, the intended receiver. <laughs> wow. Let me go Dan, ask Gary Patterson how that's not a P.I. Wow. Shelton Lewis. Full hands. Come on. Gary, do you think? Put that microphone back up. I wanted to hear that. That's right. <laughs> Can you tell this is an offensive broadcast? Yes. Can you tell? Holy cow. Maybe offensive in some. Man, my dad's respect. at home saying oh, that's a great punt. play. That's a great, great punt. For the brand. Holy cow. Williams. Pat McAfee losing his mind somewhere. <laughs> 527 to go, still seven to three. Coach, what do you want to see here at the end of the half? The offense made a couple plays, maybe a few more here against the defense. Yeah, well, that has stood up. First of all, let me just, I think it was Jamal Anderson who it got was. his hands on that ball. Yes. And then RJ Mickens. Man, what a what a what a what a really great player he's developed into. Really proud of what he's accomplished. So good to see him get that stop. It was a big pick uh, by the defense there, but biggest thing I want to see, I want to see him respond. Right. You know, go right back to work. Next play. All right, and we've got five minutes, so we're not quite into a two-minute mode yet, but we're. It's, I'd like to see him just get back to work here, stay on schedule, and then let's hopefully let's manage this clock the right way and at least come away with a field goal right here. Moffa and Klubnik in the backfield. Love the time. Woods came crashing in. The oh. pass batted away. And now picked off. Back the other way. <laughs> How about that? Way. Come on, Roy. <laughs> How about the defense back to back? Coach, I got to touch Number two. Makuba. Oh. Makuba. We played Maryland here. I was on. We kicked the field goal. We were short. They ran it back. That's what I just felt like. It felt like an absolute war. Head on a swivel. You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, you better look out right there. <laughs> Avalanche. That was like Clemson, South Carolina 04, man. Oh, it was no. like, you better, you better pay attention. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Just remember. Saying it. I saw my laugh. What a flash play right by my eyes Cougar, on man. Who, who tipped that? Oh, Nate. Wiggins. Nate Wiggins. Wiggins. A couple of tip passes here and a couple of picks, Emac. Yeah, I mean, it, I haven't seen you move that quick in a while, by the way. It wasn't, I didn't like doing it, okay, first of all. <laughs> um, but that's what, you, if you tip the ball defensively, you got to take it to the house. You got to pick it off, get that turnover. Defense doing a really good job playing heads back up football. Back to back picks, man. Are you kidding me? Great play by Nate. Helms, a QB. West Goodwin going to call a timeout. Timeout. Time White team. Their second charge timeout of the half. 30 second timeout. First down and goal coming up. Clemson, of course, known for its outstanding defense. You go back to 2018, and it has been as rock solid as any team in America. E Mac, you talk about the TFLs, the three and outs, sacks and takeaways. I do think that West Goodwin wants to see those turnovers be forced at a higher clip in 2023. Yeah, and you see the numbers right here. This is what they do. The defense is thinking, you know, this offseason, everybody's talking offense. New coordinator, quarterback in town. They said, hey, don't forget how we won some championships around this thing. Defense, you know, really playing at a high level. It was spotty a year ago, but man, when they were on and they were healthy, you saw a dominant Tiger team, and this team I don't think is going to be any different, Roy. A lot of star power. Elms a quarterback. Thomas inside in the end zone for the touchdown. Great play, man. Points off turnover. Points off turnover. Hey. It's tips or picks. Yep. Tips have to be picks. Yep. Now, I'd like to see McCoomas. A little easier, but tips or picks, yep. and then points off turnovers. You right. got to reward the defense. What a great job right there. On the other Anderson side, had the one tip, and then Wiggins that time. He back. Coach, on the other side of it, what's what's the what's the coaching point 
for Kate? I mean, how, how are you calming him down? How are you getting him right? Well, it's just that's just a great play by two. Sure. I mean, accurate throw, a accurate throw, and uh, just a really, really good competitive play by a guy that's as good a corner as there is in the country. Yep. So, you know, just a, a tough break right there. Put the ball right there. Delay of game. game. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Oh, Coach Still Nick on the try. Coach Nick ain't gonna be happy. <laughs> Coach, Coach Nick, he yelling at Peter Woods. We got the young mid-year. Oh, no. Forgot he was on the field goal team. Hey, he's saying, you've read all those press clippings. Now yeah. get your butt on yeah. the field I hurt my feelings team. what I just heard there. He got a chance to yell at Peter Woods for a minute. That's he great. He loved that. <laughs> Here's Boyd on for the PAT. Five yards back. Good start. Oh, nice job. Nice response right there. All right, this is, this is actually beautiful. They scored in, like, two seconds. So. Right. Now let's see how the white team responds. First time they've been down right here. See how they adversity. respond. A little adversity. Uh, the defense has been a story. A couple of tips. As Coach says, tips lead to picks, and we've seen that, including that last return by Makuba, 38 yards to help set his team up in business. And, hey, they've been crashing the pocket. Will Barrett Carter getting on Cade Klubnik and the two tips leading to the points we just saw a moment ago. Well, really, I mean, it's been the defense all day long. It's, it's been the story of the scrimmage. And, you know, you ask why is that? You see some fresh, you see some guys getting in the backfield. You do remember a couple of key starting offensive linemen not here. Available today. But other than that, man, you got to make plays, got to respond. White has an awesome opportunity to do that right here. Orange now with the lead at 10 to 7. Uh, credit Nick Eason for calling that time out there to force that uh, that first pick on fourth down and goal. Yeah, yeah. They were ready for a little something. got the inside scoop there. With yeah, we did. We'll do more of that. <laughs> See Coach talking with Kate Klubnik. I liked what he said there about the coaching point. And, and when I asked him that, he said, hey, that's just a really good play by the defense. Quarterback, man, like any other position, in the sporting world you got to have that amnesia you got to go next play you got to keep going don't ponder on that don't sit on that and think about it how can i affect our team how can i get it going get us back in this game clubbing 12 of 17 about 25 the two picks off the caroms getting set to take the field once again Man, I got to tell you, anytime I see 11 on the field over there, I just tune in a little bit more. I just pay a little bit more attention to where he is and to see right, what happens. To the left, see what happens. Let me watch big Tristan Lee on this freshman, TJ Parker. Oh, you look at Steph Island Green shoot there. Great play by Barrett. Great play by that young number 90, Steph Island and Green. Well, that's, a, that's a great get off. You know, inside zone, you got to kind of hang on your hat a little bit sometimes, right? It creates a lot of distortion in the in the run lanes and you know creates cutback opportunity. Right. But man, that's a problem when you have a guy with a get off like that that gets up the field and completely makes you have to right. bubble like that. The penetration yeah. kills inside zone. It takes yeah, everything yeah. away. And, and in particular on the outside zone. Well, All right, the trail concept. Clubbing right, chase by something. Lawson. That's young Jaheim Lawson. Now, the, you know, we got we to gotta make sure that Jaheim right there doesn't let him outside the pocket. That's a, a coaching point for him. But I tell you, I really love Jaheim. I, I'm, I'm excited about his development. That's Shaq Lawson's little yeah. brother. Shaq's here today. So super excited about what Jaheim and, and young Armand Mason were able to do this spring. Two young guys that are going to be red shirt freshmen, got bright futures. Third down and seven. All right, so we got a vert concept with a crosser built into it. Need to make a play right here on third down. And Klubnik across the middle. Big hit pass caught nice by Spectre. Nice play by Spectre, man. That's great coverage. Wasn't, wasn't yeah. anywhere to go with it. Yeah. Great Jay coverage. Mickens. Nowhere to go with it. Mickens has looked pretty good in his first half, Coach. Man, he's been outstanding. And that, but you know, the thing about Mickens, it, he's just one of those kids that knows the game. He sees it. He understands concepts. He understands splits. He understands formations. And he has good recognition off of that. You know, his dad played, I don't know, 12, 13 years in the NFL. He really understands the game. 
And that's a, that's that's a knowledge play right there. That's recognition. That's eyes on the right thing as you read the splits and alignments and formation and the releases of the receiver. Another great punt by young Jack Smith that. right here. Really good to see that right there. All right, All right now we got three minutes. See, what, what, what's our timeout situation here, Mac? White team. You got as many as you want here, they Coach, as far as we're concerned. Well, well, yeah, you can control. Know, no, they, on got, now. they got one and two left. All right, orange teams. They've got two. A little clock management right here. So they got to get the ball back, so that's what I wanted to see. You got how's, he, how's Spiller going to manage this clock? Yeah. Let's go ask him. <laughs> CJ? How are you going to manage the clock right here, sir? Uh, I mean, we got one time out right now, so just biggest thing, just get a stop right here, get a three and out, and get the offense back to ball. Appreciate it. C.J. Spiller just told you what he's trying to accomplish. Got a little time out to work with Emac. Yeah, you'd like to have more than one, but right. man, get this defense going. Viva. Viva. Tell you what, though, this is kind of like a ball's gone, ball's gone, ball's gone. There's old Wade, old this Wade is, hanging this out. It's kind of like I thought it would be very competitive. As, sure. I, as, I, as I built the teams, I said this has a chance to be a really competitive game, and it's been really competitive. Defense, I think, has kind of held the, held the day so far. So we'll see. It only takes one good play. Hunter Helms, a quarterback, second right. and ten. Split flow zone read right here. Going to read the edge player. That's a little streco. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's called rookie legs. That's his first. Co <laughs> He's a mid-year kid. His first college carry, and that's the difference in practice and an environment like this. That's right. He, he got to get his sea legs under him right there. But we love this kid, Streco. He's a he's a uh, actually a walk-on who was going to the service academies and uh, decided he wanted to give it a shot here. But we really like this kid. He's got he's got some pop and some juice. Admitted to Air Force originally. Got a, got a chance to be a good little player if he'll hang in there. And I'll right, see what old Hunter's going to do. Oh, Sapp. How about it? You like that kid, Look at Sapp. Josh Sapp, a familiar name for Clemson fans, we, the son of Patrick. We don't like Josh Sapp. We love Josh Sapp. <laughs> Josh is, uh, Josh is, is a really, really interesting and unique prospect. You know, this kid, I y'all know his dad, Patrick, obviously, but but this kid, uh, he's his background is quarterback. He's played quarterback, receiver, tight end, safety. He's played uh, a linebacker. He's played DN. This kid is a true football player and has a ton of knowledge, and we think he's got a bright future. Does things naturally. He's got a lot of savvy and uh, excellent ball skills. So he's a unique guy, tough as they come, and I think going to be a good one for us. Nick Burley, be a red shirt freshman. Up. It's a gain of 24 yards to Josh Sapp. Pretty pass by Hunter Helms across the middle. Yeah, and you really, you like to see the patience right, there from the quarterback allow the play. Hey, to it's hard to hurt a guy named Burley. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's hard to hurt a guy named Burley. That's a big Burley dude right there. Hey, Coach, maybe when you're done, you know, calling plays and all that stuff, you're going to head out to Vegas and, like, announce fights oh, or something, geez. man? Hey, that's WWE or whatever. What is that? It felt like that pregame no. midfield. You're no, introducing what's, everybody. Not WWE. What's that thing? What's it called? A little MMA, a little boxing. Oh, yeah, UFC. MMA. U yeah, UFC. UFC. That's the one. Come on, man. That's the one. Streco, the running back again, a Dabo favorite. And Helms. All right, here we go. We're going to have a little short motion. we got a screen built in, but we're going to run the counter again. All right, let's see how my young my young tackle, 54, Big Ian Reed. Oh, he took the screen. Anthony oh, out there. Blown up. That was a wounded duck. That was that was rough. That one, that one was shot. That I'm one, glad you said it. Somebody got him. I'm glad you <laughs> The I'm bird dogs are going it. to get that one somewhere. They, <laughs> man, saw, one. they saw it on the land. <laughs> man, oh, man. <laughs> Third and seven. What, the, what a great go. throw by Helms to five. Oh, early, right off absolutely. the shoulder. Gain of 24 of on that play, coverage. Coach. All right, we've got a little clock situation here. It's going to be interesting. All right. Oh, oh nice catch. Catch. Oh. Earl. What? oh, come on. Rule it incomplete. Oh. Anthony Earl. Where's Dean Blandino? Great play. A little tighter. Ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. Fourth down. What a great catch by Hampton Earl right Let's there. Let's look at this replay right here. You know, just 
All he needs one foot possession. Uh, oh, he, I thought his elbow was in. Coach, that's a catch. That's, that's a, a grab. catch. His Coach, elbow was in. Can, can you be the authority, please? His elbow was in. Throw the red flag, his Coach. And they're saying possession was not clear. I meant bobbling. Uh, I meant uh, Dabo Blandino, not Dean. <laughs> I didn't see any material restriction there. <laughs> Just like to see him put it a little tighter, a little tighter on his body right there. And you got a nice play. Right decision. Not a terrible throw, but a little tighter. Bob leads to an incompletion. Khan sends it down with a good punt. I, hey, now we get two minutes. Yeah. We'll talk to you about it in a second. Go get your guy. Hey, hey. But the, I want to see high execution right here. We've seen a little bit yeah. of sloppy. I know it's good defensive plays, but come on. I mean, you're, you're trying to be Well, a couple of guy. things. I think if you're a Clemson fan watching, you like what you've seen out of the tight ends. Sure. Sap and Absolutely. Brennan Stuhl. Middle of the field on some of those crossing Sage patterns. had that big catch early. Sage had another one. Banks Pope caught a pass, yep. as Coach talked about. Those are things you're looking at and saying, okay, those are building this blocks for the ball. Right. Yeah, it feels different. I'm, I'm with you on that. But now, I want to see him be the guy. Now, now you I want to see, see him touchdown. march down the field. You want to see points. Two point, or excuse me, two minute drive, put it together, and show why you're the best quarterback in the country. Notice him a little bit further back after the uh, interception. I, I have noticed I've had the. I got a pop pass off of the inside zone here. Let's see. Probably looking for Banks Pope. This could be a big day for Banks Pope, but you got to be careful. You got RJ Mickens back there. Probably going to, oh, he's going to take it. He's going to take it. He took the outside read. Williams. What a play by Wiggins. Defended by Wiggins. What a play by Wiggins. As intended for Antonio Williams. So he kind of went to his third read right there. The, the, the pop pass really wasn't there. So good job coming to his third read, but really better play by Nate Wiggins. Explain a pop pass for our guys back well, at home. It's just kind of built in off your, off your run game, off your best plays, you know. There's Maffa probing the left side, and number seven explodes ahead. Number seven. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Hey, Roy, you want to know a good feeling? When you're going through a hole as a lineman, you feel that running back on your back, right and he's coming saying, right Let's past go, you. baby. <laughs> All right. First down. All right, so we got we got the, uh, the counter again here. They're going to run it a little. A little patience right there. Nice job, T.J. Parker off the backside. Yep. Nice job. So, you know, when you start seeing that up in the box, that's when you have to have your your, your control-type plays built in when you got a guy really chasing it down from behind like that. Tempo less than a minute to go in the half. Time for Klubnik. Across the middle, Banks Pope again. Banks Pope. <laughs> Banks Pope. There's hope with Banks Pope. Oh, no. <laughs> with this minute, oh, 40, 38 seconds. Spiller's really working a lot of clock over yeah, there. I was going to ask you about it. All right, we got to move it. Oh, Peter Woods Sack. came in. Sack. He's got to use timeout. All right, now you got none left. Armand Mason, Peter Woods, pick your point. Timeout, white team. That's the third and fourth final charge timeout. 30-second timeout. See, I mean, that's an absolute so, killer right there. So here's a, guy, here's a guy you've never heard of. All right, we talked about just, you know, some guys earlier taking advantage of their opportunities. So obviously XT's out this spring. And then uh, Xavier you, Thomas. You know, yeah, you got, you got Ojebwe. He's not here yet. Hoffler's not here yet. These guys are coming in, but... This kid, Armand Mason, he'll be a redshirt sophomore. But, you know, his dad is Anthony Mason. Yep. And this is one of the best athletes on our team. Of the Knicks. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. And uh, he's, and Grady, he's Grady Jarrett's first cousin. Wow. So Grady Jarrett's mom, Lisa, and his mom, Mona. Yeah, you can't make it up. Mona and Lisa uh, are sisters, twin sisters. Of course. And this kid, this kid, got a little screen. This kid right here. If he'll hang in, if he'll just stay his butt in the crock pot and keep cooking, he, he's going to help us. He's really, really freaky athletic. Oh, Antonio. All right, they got to go. They got to go. They got to go. We're second and 19. Fox running. Fox how do you running. feel about that? I mean, how do you assess this uh, one minute drive? Well, you know, they're a little behind right there. The sack killed him. Right. You know? But hey, still a chance. They need a play right here. They, they, need, a, they need a play right here and then stop the clock. Sack. Go to him. Yeah, we'll see you next half. That's what that's defiling green. We haven't talked enough about him. We heard his name a good bit this yeah. week, Emac. No, we, we have, man. All these young defensive linemen. I mean, in a year that Clemson right, here we potentially going to have that's three first-round draft the first picks. All right, we got a competitive game, They've got to get after it replace it with hey, Stay tuned. 
Stay tuned. We're going to have a competitive second half. Coach, that was awesome. Appreciate it. Where's that was that? 10 to 7, our score at the break. Defense ruled the day. An early touchdown by Phil Mappa. And a couple of interceptions as we step aside here in Death Valley. All righty, back away we go. Start of our third quarter. 50,000 fans in attendance today. That was what Dale Gilbert announced at halftime. Fifth largest in Clemson football history. And of course, a quick reminder on the rules. Quarterbacks not live. Punts and place kick, similar situation. And the second half officially underway. Hey, Matt, glad to see you got the hat on for the second half. I appreciate you finding me one as well. Kind of cools things down a little bit. Hey, Clemson will provide, my friend. Clemson will provide. Hook this up with some gear here. You be running that ACC, microphone down man. to you coach. He's, he's right. I can promise you this. I ain't running nothing. I got you. I got you. I got you. Here. Now, this is the thing, too. I thought coach was going to run us. He hasn't run once no, no, this game, which I'm very happy about. He's chomping it a bit. And he's ready to respond to this right now. He's ready to go. We got to get it to you quick, Coach. Phil Pye. Yeah, you know. <laughs> go, That's how we do it. Emac wasn't running. I was going to hey, run Hey, Coach, have you gotten a little older or something? You haven't run once no, this I, time, I man. Just, I'm just trying to be a good host to my company And here. I appreciate you know? it. <laughs> my man. You got to know your audience. I you know? love that. I mean, gosh. I've made him run plenty enough in his day. Yeah. <laughs> You never made me have to do it, I don't think. Not as a media member. Hey, did you get a hat? Was that head getting a little hot? Well, I had mine. We got Roy one. Yeah, I appreciate it. I needed it. I need to oh, do whatever okay, I can. <laughs> All right, CV. All right, so here's what we got. Whoever the backups are on each team will play these first two series. Okay. So we want to see some guys that have played because yeah. we only got so many people. Sure. But who, if you're a backup on either side, the first two series you will see, so that way I know everybody's gotten in the game. And then when that's over, the third series will get back with good on good. Okay. Tristan Rigby with that last carry, a gain of two, maybe so you three. You got big Mason Johnstone at left tackle and big Zach Owens in there, Chat Pendergrass at center, Dietrich. Rigby again oh, straight boy. ahead. That's big Vic Burley, I told you. He'd be back. He's Burley. He's, He's healthy. Back. We got Big Ian Reed at right tackle. How about Will, Pennington, Coach? Will Blackston on here at tight end. Dietrich. Dietrich. He seems like Dietrich, a guy that. Dietrich can be as good as he wants to be. He's going to be a redshirt sophomore. You know, he missed a year with a knee. But he is. He's he's what they look like, you know. And he's got all the tools, man. He could be special. It's just a matter of him continuing to, to, to progress. And, and we've seen that this, this spring. So we're excited about where he's at. Nice accurate throw. Nice catch by Rigby. Well, Rigby, Rigby featured on that drive, Coach. Rigby from Louisiana. <laughs> coach, where's your favorite state to go with doing all this recruiting? Alabama, because I, I don't need it. I, I drive. Boo. When we go there, I drive. I don't let the, I don't let the assistants drive. I take the car because I'm going where the GPS doesn't know where to go. Okay. So it makes it easy. Everywhere else I go, they drive because, you know, they know where they are. But you know, I love, I love, I love going wherever there's a great player. Sure, um, that is for sure. Con to punt. All right, Brody Con. Long line driver right here, going to create a little field position. Antonio Williams. All right, so again, same thing. You'll see all the backups. So I think we're going to get Trent Pearman in here, and I tell you, Trent, Trent is a kid. This, kid, yeah, he's a true freshman. He's been here ten months. But this kid, back-to-back -back Gatorade Player of the Year in the Big state time. of South Carolina, back-to-back -back state champion, he's one of the more prolific passers that we've had in the state of South Carolina. Chose to kind of come in here and compete, see how good he can be. And, the, the, you know, Garrett and I, we'll, we'll both tell you the same thing about Pyramid. He's, he's a gamer. He's a gamer. Kid's got some savvy. He's got some moxie. He really understands the game. You know, physically, he's still developing. But this kid can play. He can play. And uh, we're really, really excited about having him here. And we'll see how he'll develop. Some Danny Pierman, of course. He's on the field at number 14. And a quick toss. Accurate pass. And that's an that's Jackson another kid. Crosby. Jackson Crosby. That's another kid right there that's had a good spring. He's a walk-on kid. You know, Hamp Green, Hampton Earl, Jackson Crosby. These are three really high-end walk-on receivers 
that can help us. Well, Pierman comes in in rhythm. All right, Wise Seegers. Wise 32 Seegers. will get a touch. Little counter, nice finish right there. Well, rhythm with this uh, unit right now. Again, here's, this is kind of what Trent Pierman does, man. Every time we put him in the game, he kind of moves the ball. And, uh, again, got a good feel for this offense. This is similar to what he ran in high school. So we got option routes on both sides right here. Let's see what happens here. Which side he picks. Oh, he's going to take the shot. Nice coverage by Boston Miller. Nice coverage. Roy, I don't, I don't know if Tanner was afraid for his life there, but I was because I saw Peter Woods coming through. I, I know his eyes were downfield. It's about three times that's happened to me. But so I was far worried. Today. Yeah, I was worried. All right, we've got second, <laughs> second of all. The best thing about having Emac is I get to stand behind him. He's the best blocker of all time. He's my offensive The, the, the best thing about being Emac, I didn't even know you were there. Come on, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so notice they still got Peter Woods in there, which is a problem. But we don't have, we're so thin at D tackle right now, so they're, they're having to play. But they need all the work they can get, Step Island and Peter Woods. When did, when did you know he was different? I mean, I know recruiting and we think, but when did he step on campus and you're like, okay, this is what I thought I was getting. Yeah, well, when he committed, I knew he was different. Uh, for him, you know, to just really just forego the whole process. He, he's, just a, he's just a young man of conviction. You know, really knew what he wanted to do and, and was man enough to, to do it and stick with it. Um, so high level maturity. Nice throw, nice play there. Zach Jackson. That's the big Zach Jackson. Moving the chains. That's again, this is what Pierman does. Every time we put him in there, he, he finds a way to move the chains. He's really done this all spring. It's been really good to see. And a nice play by a young walk-on receiver, Zach Jackson, out there. All right, taking the screen right now. Crosby again. All right, Step tempo, down. little tempo. Trent's driving the tempo. All right, we got Big Pitts at right tackle. We got Jake Norris at right guard. Lentham has still having to go at center. That's all we got. Sam Judy at left guard. Nathan Brooks at left tackle. Hey, how about getting the short stick of that's all we got, man? You got to play. That's all we okay. got. We got two centers. Uh, you got to. <laughs> well, Chappie, Chappie got some snaps on the other team, but that's it. We got three guys, but they don't have another one on this team. Putnam is in his brother's wedding today. So great job by Trent. Oh, nice, nice, almost, almost a really nice connection. That's, that's Clay. Emac, did you see number 11 again? I saw number 11, but more importantly, I saw number 88. Yeah. Coach, are you going to make, uh, you know, Pierman run here for missing your guy wide open? That's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, he'll wish he had that one back. He, <laughs> you know, two high school teammates, both of them back-to-back -back state champions. Well, Clay had a heck of a career, Daniel, and, and uh, was able to redshirt this year as well. But they made a lot of those in high school. They were a little off on that one. What we got here, third down? plus territory. Just need a good positive play right here to keep it going. Oh, man. That's that's a mistake. That's that's the, that's the receiver not getting a signal. Let's see what the decision is here. Jackson. All right, he's going to punt Going to play field position. Hey, let me see Let me see you pin this thing now. Is this Jack Smith back so Jack, on? Jack, Jack. This is like CFL, <laughs> Clemson Football League. What are you trying to do on this? Uh, put it inside the 10. Inside the 10. What's your technique? Hold it upside down. All right, let's see if you execute it. Let's see what happens here. That's that's being a good, no coachable punter right there. All right. From Sarah Land, Alabama. <laughs> right off of I-65 South. All right. So he knows what to do. Let's see if he did it. He didn't. Into the end zone. <laughs> look, he's not going to look back. He won't. Oh, he oh, did. He did. He, looked at he didn't look back. I mean, holy moly. We'll step aside. He's going to say I messed his process up. <laughs> he's going to say I messed his process it's up. It's so mental, coach, you know? All right, just a little, 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 little change concept right here. This is Carson Kramer, otherwise known as Cosmo. Is he going to flush? He'll send it out All right, of got rid of it. Got rid of it. Who's Cosmo again, Coach? We missed that. So this is Carson Kramer. He is coming here fresh from Mississippi State, from Starkville, okay. Mississippi. And uh, I think he and Garrett may have had a little cup of coffee together in Kansas. Yes, sir, for a year. For a year they were together. So, you know, we, we had a spot because uh, 
you know, Caleb Nobles, who, who had his position, is now the head coach at West Florida. He got the head job, so I had a spot open. So it was really good to be able to bring a guy in who knew Garrett and, uh, more importantly, knew all the signals. That 88 again back there? It's a punt, 47 yards. 47 yard punt. I tell you who's gotten their steps in today, and that's Wes Goodwin and Garrett Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put one of those uh, those trackers we used to wear? Yeah. Did you put that on them, see what their levels are? This is going to get interesting, boys. Running clock at this point in the third quarter, 10 to 7, Orange leading the white. Coach, can we get you to interview your new OC at some point in the broadcast? That, that would be fantastic. Silence. <laughs> we asked. Halfway through the third. So, Roy, it looks like we're going back to the ones here. Looks like this is where winning football begins. So you're paying right, closer attention. Paying closer attention again. We're going to run a little counter play right here. Coach Riley, tell us about your first experience on game day here. Man, I was impressed with the Tiger Walk. That was the first thing. How cool was that? That was awesome. Uh, it's been great. Just get guys in the mix and, uh, you know, just kind of get their feet wet here for the first taste in Death Valley for a lot of them. So it's been good. There you go. There we go. There we go. So, Coach, we're back to the ones. This is real football. Yeah, we're yeah, back. We're, we're live. We're, we're playing to win now. Come on. Playing to win. We're we standing we in game interview right we, there. We will have a running clock here, so it's gonna get it's gonna get fast. That was Keith Jackson, or Keith Adams, excuse me. We take Keith Jackson too if you can get him. <laughs> Not the announcer. <laughs> right. Oh, boy. And this time, Adams. Peter Woods met him. Number 11, not today. That's, that's, that's Peter Woods, and that's Colin Griffin, a kid we're really excited about. We redshirted last year. Safety really we, has had a great spring. He's another one of those guys that's really taking advantage of the opportunity. Venables has been out. Uh, uh, Jayla Phillips has been out. And so, man, all of a sudden, he's, he's had a ton of opportunity. It's 18 and orange. Really learned a lot. Got Jamal Anderson in there. That's... Y'all, that's his father, Jamal Anderson. The Dirty, from the, Bird. the Dirty Bird. See him in there. Kobe McLeod, Ray Ray McLeod's little brother. Ray Ray's here today as well. Oh, long pass. Dangerous. Cole Turner, the intended receiver. Oh, man. Pass intended for 22. Cole Turner, intended. Got Jack. Abo vision on the replay. You're going to execute this time. Let's go. <laughs> you put the pressure on him. He, said, put, he said darn right. <laughs> pressure right In here. In the C CFL League, if it was the XFL, you, you know, he'd have said something else. Yes. <laughs> We'd have muted that one, too. Not bad, not bad. Hamp Green with the, with the fair catch right there. All right, this clock's going to move fast. Somebody's got to make a play. Five minutes and counting. It's going to be a running clock. Still 10 to 7. Let's talk to Khalil Mars. This is his first ever Death Valley experience. Hey, Khalil! Your first your first experience in the Valley, how's it been? No, the fans showed out today. I like that about everybody. It's been cool, though. Glad to be a Tiger we all live. You have some butterflies today? Nah. Can we have 15 practices? You ready? Just another day. You ready? Another day to you. I like it. Hey, what did he say? We've had 15 practices? Yes. Yeah. He says another day. He's prepared. He's prepared. Emac, he keeps this up. We're not going to be back here doing this game Let next year. Just, just be it. Dabo on the ESPN. I'm taking there. <laughs> All right, we got Stretch back in here. This is useful. Very. You're going to see him redeem himself. I guarantee you, this little kid. All right. Strecko, the back on our helms fires a pass. Wow. There it is. And, and so now what he did, what he corrected from the last time is he put it tighter on his body. You know, he, he, he painted it, he painted the ball on him. He didn't leave it with some space. Hampton Earl, gain of 14. See what Strecko can do on the counter. Might want, to, back might want to follow his block. Yeah, I'd like him to be a little more patient there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Might want to follow his block. Again, that's that's a, that's a rookie. Yeah. I mean, we're sending those guys around for a reason. Yeah. Run behind them, big dog. Yeah. 
There you go. You see it on your replay. He just gets a little too excited. All right, inside what zone a great to the right here on the outside. Inside zone to the right. Yeah, and, and and again, he painted it right on him on the one in the first half. He just a great play by Hampton, but a little off. All right, there's Noble. There's Noble, Noble Johnson, freshman. Nice job. Perimeter. Nice little drive here. How about nice Sage with the pancake on the outside? Come on, big dog. I don't I'd like to Sage. see that. I don't like Nobo. All right, so we're gonna have a little guard pull here, and a, and a little, a little. Um, he's got. Oh, he's, oh, he's changed it here. All right, here we go. A little, guard, little guard pull. We'll see what happens. There he is. There's 73 pulling around. Sack. Sack. Sack right there. You could have killed Zaire Patterson. <laughs> he could have killed you. That yeah. was the coaching tip. <laughs> it was also holding right on the left tackle. 50. But as a lineman, I'm not allowed to say that, so I will not. You're picking those up pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Hey, what was that coaching point? He could have killed you? Yeah, he'd have been dead. <laughs> that been a bad one. I love it when they look at me like, that wasn't a sack. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I swear, I swear you want to just take the purple jersey off. Purple somewhere, jersey syndrome. Somewhere around. Uh, I, I grew up playing with Jay Barker at Alabama, and there were, he was live every day with John Copeland and Eric Curry. Here goes Hampton. Oh, look at that. There we go. A little screen game. One big play. Come on, Hampton. Hop up. Hop up, Ham. Hop up, baby. play of the day. It was a weird fall. Hopefully he's okay right there. 39 yards, Coach. Impressive. That looked like a weird tackle. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, Hampton. Hampton is a has been a productive player for us. Very mature kid. Can play all three positions. A guy that we trust completely. And as you saw right there, has, has got some ability, man. And uh, has had a great spring. And a guy that's just that, that as a depth guy is really dependable. Hopefully he's okay. I didn't I didn't like how that looked on that tackle. Thirty-nine yard play. Hampton Earl helped up. Redshirt junior, right here in Clemson. Yes, yeah, nice to be able to take advantage of your opportunity, really execute at a high level. Great drive here, of course, you know, spurted by that big play, but execution pretty nice right now. Helms and Strecco in the Clemson backfield for the Orange team. From the 12th. Strecco. Strike four. There's Strecko. Nice little cutback. Hampton okay, coach. Looked like he was able to get up. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. You know, it's, it, it was an awkward tackle. And it, he got up and kind of walked Second off. He's a tough kid. But hopefully, hopefully it's nothing serious. Second and five. Nice tackle by Koval. Koval on Strecko. It'll be third down. With a score here, the Orange team put a lot of pressure on these guys. Huge. They need to hold them right here. They need to hold them to a field goal. It's a huge, huge play right here. What we got? All right. Little, little, uh, Little crosser by our X receiver here. It goes, I knew it. It's time. It goes. Time for Helms. Going away. Sack right here. Right here. Right here. Case jacked up, man. Sack. And that, I mean, that's what Coach said. Look, we gotta get a stop. We gotta get a stop. Gotta shut it down. Hold him to a field goal. And now this much more manageable. Quinn Kastner in for the chip shot. And you see the just the motor keep going there. Both guys really had a shot at him. Mac from 32 yards out here for Kastner. Automatic. For me, not so much. He'll bang it through. 13 to 7. Big stop by big, That's the end big of the stop. third quarter. That's a big stop. End of the third quarter, 13 to 7. The Orange increases its lead. 15 minutes to go here in Clemson. All right, standing by here with the head coach of the white team, the great CJ Spiller.
Huge stop there at the end of the third quarter. What's your message to your team in the fourth? Oh, that was a great that was a great stop by the defense right now. Right now we just need the offense just go out here and just take care of the ball. Uh, and, and quit making the self-inflicted moves. I think if we do that, we can drive it down and, and take the lead. But that was a huge start right there by the defense. They gave us a chance to stay in this game. Running backs coach, how does it feel to be the head coach for the day? Uh, it feels different, you know, because now I'm, I'm, I'm overseeing everyone. And uh, so that's a, that's a different uh, responsibility. But it's, it's been fun. It's been great being out here just mingling with the guys and just having fun with the players. Got Coach Eason coming out of half. I know you guys have been talking a lot of smack. So what's your message to your friend for this fourth quarter? Uh, uh, well, I mean, right now, just, you know, the game's not over. You know, that's why you play fourth quarters. I know they're probably pretty happy over there on that sideline, but you know, I know our guys did excited about this challenge that we got right now. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right, CJ Spiller trying to get this first-team offense going here for the white team. A little comeback in the fourth quarter, guys. And trailing 13-7, to seven, Emac, Let's boy, full five, Coach Sweeney with us. We got one quarter to go here. Big point of emphasis, that running clock. I mean, this thing is going to tick, tick, tick. And you really, man, you got to operate at such a higher level, understanding the rules that you're given. All right, so Kate Klubnick back on the field. Keith Adams, Jr. We've seen a lot of Banks Pope at first half, not as much in the second. Cole Turner on the outside here on first down. Adams around the left side. And some real estate as he's shoved down. A nice pickup on the ground. I like the patience there. I want just a little bit more. Let that big ugly get out in front of you. But just a great cut, great slow pay there, Coach. What you know? Be able to pull right there. You saw big 78 yeah. and his ability to pull and run. Looks good. Great Eight freshman force last year, starter all year. That's, that's a little interesting. That's, uh, that's not winning at the point of attack right there. Come on, Banks. Yeah, Blake Miller, man, had a, he, he, he uh, started. You know how hard it is to start in the offensive sure. line as a freshman. Especially a tackle. He's got a really bright future for us. That's an area we're really excited about. We just lost J. Mack. You know, Parks and Tate have been out this spring. Really, again, pleased with, with Lee. Mitchell's had to start four games for us last year. Putnam's in his brother's wedding today. That's why Putnam's not here. <laughs> Taking the day off. I'm not mad at you. That's a good brother. Lisa wasn't sounds on a like ball some, Saturday. Sounds like some uh, poor planning to me. Yeah. <laughs> Way up in the air. Incomplete. Pass intended for Brandon Spector. Spector couldn't bring it down. Third down and ten. So we're going to have a running clock. Unless we get to two minutes and it's a one-score game, we will have a normal two-minute situation. I like that. I like that. So right now, that's where we're headed. I'll tell you what, you're going to love this 55, man. This yeah. Harris Sewell kid. That's what I've heard. Man, he can really bend. He can move. He's athletic. That's clean. That's clean. That's clean. And again, you know, it's a good job, good effort by 11, but, you know, that's really what he needs to do. He just needs right. to wash him up the field, and your quarterback has to feel that. And that's where that's where 11's got to learn, don't overrush, yes. right? And sometimes you got to turn that speed, and you got to collapse the pocket with power. Gain of nine. It'll be fourth and short. Oh, like this call? You like going yeah, for it? Absolutely. Come on. With a running clock in the spring game. In the CFL Clemson Football League. What's your call? What you doing? <laughs> Inside zone. I'm handing that thing to 19 yeah. right here. I'm probably running to the right side. Well, there you go. Must have read my mind. Oh, he's got it. Clean. First down. Ooh. First down. Didn't need much. There we go. Down. They gave First it to him. Oh, First whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, look at First look at the and the umpire's down. happy. First down. Yeah. After further review, the ruling on the field is a first down. <laughs> Wow. That is a pro. Do you see Gary right there coming in? Man, I love that. It was they got a our rule, if he's an outside runner, they got to go get two hands That's to the right. carrier. That's right. And he's easily got that. Absolutely. He's easily got that. GP was on your side. Easily got that. I'd like to correct y'all during the game a lot, too. <laughs> hey. I think, I think that happens. Could, wonder if I could, could I get like one correction, like that we could just change the call? That the might be a penalty marker. Let's comes add out. that to football. 
each coach, instead of a challenge, you get a correction. I, I there's the sledgehammer. Look I told that. you. Look at that. It's a business decision when you tackle him. Yeah. <laughs> you like that correction, Roy? Yeah, I mean, like, okay, I get I get a red flag ch uh, challenge, but I Orange want a correction. Orange flag is the correction. Or I just get a correction and say, no, you're wrong, we're right, <laughs> move on. <laughs> and and, and no, no problem, he just got to eat it. I like that, too. But you, you get know? one. You only get one. Sure. Right. sure. So the strategy and the gamesmanship of when you use it. Absolutely. We've critical. seen a little bit of that. We've seen a little bit of that. Second and four. It's been the Keith Adams drive. Yeah, he's a tough kid, man. Over the middle and broke it up. All right. Hey, Sweeney, the intended receiver. All right, they're two down territory all the way here. Running clock, third and five. All right, so we got we got an option route built in with a quarterback draw right here. So he'll read this. He can pick the option route. All right, so it looks like we got cover zero right here. This is going to be interesting. Got to get rid of it. A uh, little little off right there. All right, got to got to still go. Hey, that's okay. Fourth down. Go get it. It's good defense. Well, it was defense. covered by Caleb Nix. Went cover zero. Tight coverage. He didn't like the draw. Yeah, and that's tough. I mean, that's a long throw all the way out there outside the hash. He didn't like the draw. We're subbing our line, and this is the OL sub package going on <laughs> on fourth down right here. The rabbit package? Is this it? Fourth and four. All right, I love this play. This is a follow type of follow type of concept. You know, and he could take his back here. No, he didn't like the back. All right, he's got there it. Nice play. There he is. First down. The second fourth down conversion we've seen on this drive. What a great club. play. What a great play. And that's just that ability to create a game, Coach. When stuff breaks down, K can make it happen. All right, we got a little inside zone right here. He's got the screen off of it. Spectre. All right. Wiggins, the tackle. Is that a numbers game when he decides to throw yep. that? Yep. You know, it's just really on the quarterback. On the quarterback. Got to trust you guys. Trying to stay on schedule. Fourth catch for Spectre. All right. Four down territory all the way. Second and eight. All right, so we got a little guard pull, play action with a post built in here. The guard pull, get rid of it. He got rid of it. Ball's gone. Ball's gone. Bangs uh, Pope has it. Ball's gone. Bangs Pope. Ball's gone. Number 44. Ball's gone. Ball's gone. And so, Roy, what you saw right there is knowing where my routes are, knowing where the answers are. Safety blitzes, I'm going right over his head. Gain of 24, first and goal. Watch just the patience, but also hurrying it up. He got rid of it. He yeah. got hit. He got rid of it. Adam stops short. It'll be second down. I love this. I love this. I love this. The competitive nature of it. Now we got us a game. Now we got a game right here. Adams 10 carries, 48 yards. See me get a touchdown. Straight go. ahead, and there it is. Keith Adams into the end zone. That's a big one. Oh, no. That's yeah, a big one. It's a big one. It's a big extra point right here. Tied at 13, Emac. It's what you love to see. I mean, this is the point of a spring game. Why Clemson breaks the roster the way they do. They want to see him competing. They want to see it be nasty. That's exactly what we're getting, man. Couldn't draw it up any better. So, Dexter, Coach, Coach Lawrence, do you disagree with my referee? Oh! It was blocked. Oh! Oh! Was it Peter Lawrence? What do you think about was the it no Peter set Lawrence? call? That was below. 
That was baloney. So we got a tie ball game here, a chance to go win it. Now we about to go get it. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay. <laughs> I told you it's gonna be a big extra point. Was that 11? That was Peter Woods. Was who it? it was Peter Woods. Look, hey, look. Who blocked it? Look. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on, we can't hold on. Got to make a difference on special teams. Special teams wins games. Who, who blocked that? Peter Woods. Do you ever block a field goal? Uh, no, I helped block a field goal. All I'm saying is go watch the the field goal block from UNC, and you will ask Coach Eason. I'm the reason that Nate Wiggins blocked that field goal. KJ Henry on spot reporting. We appreciate it. So Peter Woods does make a big time play today. We've seen him set up shop in the pocket with the early whistle. Block PAT. How about a uh, first coach Sweeney? Can we onside kick? What are we doing? That'll be interesting. You think they'll practice that? I, I tell you what, so. grown men are made on this onside kicks. Be interesting. Hey, coach. So, Peter Woods, tell us what you thought about on that block extra point. Well, because he just said we got to get a block. I got a block. Now it's 13 13, seven minutes left to go. Look, we're in a position to win this game. Hey, Nate. Nate. There's three accountability points on the line. Is this a big deal? Oh, yeah, I need that. We're going to get that. <laughs> Peter Woods has spoken, ladies and gentlemen. He's feeling good. How about, how about Caleb Nix? Caleb. So if we have to play your brother, Bo Nix, a lot of people don't know your bro's brother. If we have to play your brother, Bo Nix, at Oregon in the national championship this year, what will your mom and dad do at the game? Uh, my mom might not be able to watch. My dad will probably have like a split green orange. Do you think he's the golden child and they're gonna pull for him? He's the oldest and and he's been the he, you got more opportunity or do you think they'll they'll truly split it down the middle? Well, not only is Bo out there, but also my adopted brothers out there, so they do have a two to one. But uh, I, my mom, like I said, my mom will. she I mean, she won't be able to watch. All right. Well, hey, we got a great game to finish up right here. So it'd be Hunter Helms. Thomas. If I'm them, I'm going to work this clock. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to kick the field goal to win this sucker. Oh, yeah. Two yards. Oh, a bust one to win it. Did y'all know Bo Nix's brothers on the team, Caleb Nix? I just did. That was there breaking news. We figured it out. It's breaking news. <laughs> well, Dominic Thomas with 63 yards on 14 touches and a touchdown. Austin route here by five with a wheel route. Let's see what happens. Oh, nice Man. back shoulder ball, number three. There's Noble. Johnson. Big Noble Johnson, the freshman, working on Malcolm Green. And again, a nice nice back shoulder ball right there. Yeah, that was great timing right there. 18 yards. All right. We got a counter with a, with a screen built in. If he wants it, he does. Miss block. Come on, Hamp. Come on, Hamp. Avian Sullivan. Play by number 39, Bubba, Bubba McAtee. McAtee with the stop. Second long. out a sack. Levi Matthews. I don't know if there's too much arguing right there. Yeah, those coaches aren't happy with you, man. They're screaming. They're saying, no way that's a sack. <laughs> yeah. Dexter, Dexter's saying every play's a sack. That's over there. right. Well, you know, when he's in the game, it, it's pretty close. Third and 21. What's your play call on third and 21, coach? Third and 21. Couple verts. Probably a deep comeback. Look at this soft coverage. Try to have some type, find the soft side and have the deep comeback. Uh, we had him on the hard count right there and we didn't snap it. All right, so we're going verts and just like I thought, we got a comeback built. Let's see if he comes to it. A tip ball. All right, they got a punt. Kate Park. Batted that Stop. one down. Kate Park. Nice job, Kate. So time winding down, less than five minutes and counting remaining here at the Orange and White Spring Game. We are tied at 13.
All right, we have the All-Pro, All-American, All-ACC, All-Everything. Now you can add honorary team coach for the Orange team in the spring game, Dex Lawrence. I, I know Dabo just talked to you, but we got a tie game 13-13. Yep. You're a little mad at me right now because you can't see the field. This is an intense time. Uh, what, who, what's it going to come down to in the end, you think? Uh, it's going to come down to if Orange can get a turnover right here and, you know, go score, go kick a field goal or something. I think that's what it's going to come down to. I think, it's doable. I think it's doable. What has stood out to you today, especially defensively? What has stood out? I love the way the D-line is playing. Um, 11's having a day. Some of the edge guys are having a day. It looks good on both sides of the ball. That's what I look at. Yeah, so Peter Woods. Yeah. Uh, we've heard a lot of stuff sometimes mentioned in the same breath as you. What's your general consensus about 11? I got to see him in real game time action. <laughs> but right now, he's looking good. He's playing strong with his hands. Uh, you know, he got a lot of promise. I like it. All right, Dex Lawrence rocking with the orange team. He's looking for an INT, maybe a fumble. Let's go orange. <laughs> Guys. Taylor, thank you. Peter Woods, seven tackles, the block PAT that has kept this game tied as advertised. Meanwhile, Banks Pope, four receptions for 67 yards, targeted six times. Back shoulder, looking for Maffa and out of bounds. All right, coach, exactly what you wanted here. You got two minutes to go in a tie game. All right, hey, hey. So clock stops. Two minute drill. Clock is gonna stop. This is a real game. Coach, we're playing here. Coach, what happens if this game ends in a tie? What do we well, do? Well, I'm trying to figure that out right now. <laughs> I'll check back with you. I'm thinking either two point conversions yes. or I, think I might put some pressure on my kickers, but I don't know. I'm sure there's some parties on campus and they want to be invited. Ball's gone. Ball's gone. Ball's gone. Ball's gone. Ball's gone. The filing green. I mean, we've said that name a couple of times today, Emac. Yeah, and, and look, I mean, this is a huge deal. Now they're having to punt. You're giving the other guys the ball back. I mean, not an ideal situation at all. Got three timeouts, plenty of time, right decision there to punt. That's why you're in the broadcast booth, Mac. All right. Three, you saw me get out of the way now. Three Come timeouts. <laughs> punt the ball. Let's get a stop. You can manage this thing right where you should get, you, you know, they could take about 20 seconds off the clock. You get it back. I don't know if you guys heard it as he was running by, but Coach Riley's screaming, CV, get in the game. Let's see what the freshman can do. Christopher Vizina. Birmingham standing up. We got a buck 46 on the clock. I think we might see CV do some action right here, man. You got timeouts, you got plenty of time. You only need a touchdown to win this. Now I'm kind of curious to see what happens if it ends in a tie. <laughs> Christopher Vizina from Birmingham. Briarwood Christian, making the top 10 according to ESPN. Hey, we gotta get off the field. He's got Dominique Thomas. And Bazina with time, and it's intercepted for the touchdown on the pick six. Are you kidding me? Go, Khalil Barnes. I told you, Khalil Barnes. Are you kidding me? You better know his name. You called his name all day. And it ain't over, boys. It ain't over. Wow. Big extra point. Hey, you know what the announcer's curse is, right? I think Chris Vazina's going to do great here. Pick six. Sorry, bro. That's on me. What a break by 36 wow. right there. Looked like the ball was thrown right on time. That's just a great play. I have to write like a letter or something apologizing to that kid. Makuba Mickens and Khalil Barnes with interceptions. Dunn's extra point is true. 20 to 13. And the kick for Robert Gunn, the third is good. Plenty of time. The takes the lead. 20 to 13. 136 to go, Eric McLean. It's been entertaining. To say the least, man. I mean, you, you get it all. You want to block field goal? Check. You want to pick six? Check. 
You want to see a superstar freshman who everybody's been talking about. How many tackles did he have? Eight, seven. And a block PAT. And a block PAT. Defense, man, on full, full display right now. We still got some time left. to mention the in-game interviews coach has conducted with his own coaches and the freshman D tackle. It's been fantastic. Peter Woods, right? Added to the resume. Field analyst, field reporter, Dabo Sweeney. In the CFL. In so are, the we, are we out of jobs, that means? We are. Yeah. I think next year for this game we will be. Perfect. It's a Swiss Army knife, man. It was fun, guys. Yeah, it was. Really, truly. An honor. Your first time in Clemson, you've enjoyed it. The, the whole experience, go back to yesterday on PM, right? It's pretty incredible. It's pretty incredible. And I will say, I got to stop by the SO Club before I go home. Yeah. I feel like I got initiated going down the slide in the football That's complex. Right. That's right. Went up and down the hill. What more could you want? Couldn't ask for more. <laughs> How about a close game? Overtime. How about a, how about a mic drop? I like OT? that. OT? Well, Away we go, 136 remaining. Vizina back on the field with Dominique Thomas. All right, plenty of time. You got three timeouts. You got the whole offense here. You don't have to be in a hurry. Just take your time, put a drive together, move the chains. All right, good start. Plenty of time right here. Three timeouts is a long time. But you got to have good tempo. Four, you know your four down territory. Now, if you don't get it right here, you're going to have to think about using one of your time at your first one. Four yards to right, sap his second so the ball catch. stops. Hey. It's third down. Third down, four down. Yes, seven. Seven. Four, seven. Michael Mendoza. All right. So if they, if they come up short, you got to use a timeout here. All right, if they don't get it, fourth and short or whatever, when the clock's running, you got to use your first one. Now we hit a first down. We're going to run up there. And we're going to get set. And we're going to get a playoff. Bazina with time. He was, oh, he was Noble. one deep. Noble Johnson. Who Didn't caught that? Oh, my goodness. Intercepted. Oh <laughs> How about Bubba McAtee? Wow. Bubba McAtee. Wow, what a play. Pretty good ball right there. You'd like to see. You'd like to see the receiver win that match. Right. You no, know, that's just a competitive play, and and the veteran overtook the freshman right, right there. Right. He's really not a freshman yet. He's still a high school senior. <laughs> no, 63 seconds remaining. What a play! They still got three. You still got three timeouts. Got three timeouts. BC saying it's not over. Eric right? Carter says we still got time. Hey, Trotter. Trotter, what you think? Hey, man, I mean, we, we just got, we just. Timeouts, got three timeouts. What's the mindset here offensively, coach? Make them use all three. Yeah, no question. You passing it all? Heck no. I'm running this ball. <laughs> if I do, it's a very, very ball control type thing. I'm gonna get the quarterback on the edge, all right? But you got, you've got to make them use the timeouts here. And Kevin McNeil. You have to, man. You want to, you want to, you know, you don't want to go backwards, but you got to make them use these timeouts. Because, you know, you figure if you timeout do, orange team. you get it punted, they're going to have time out. 30 seconds 30 maybe second to go out. and score a touchdown. Right, right. So you got to be smart. And if you, and if you do want to give him a, a, an option, you just put him on the move. But you're not going to throw anything over the middle. You know, you, you, <clears throat> Most likely, again, get the quarterback. Maybe there's a sprint option or some type of boot because they're going to expect run. So you build in something off of that run that the quarterback has the option. And it's the one time if you do boot that you give the quarterback permission to take a sack on a boot, sure. right? Otherwise, otherwise, you're yelling at him. So this is this is where you give him permission to take a sack so you keep the clock running. So these are, these are, these are priceless, teachable opportunities right here that are hard to come up with. Oh, my goodness. Cornell Powell. Hey, Super Super Bowl champ, Come Cornell on, Powell. Yeah. 
You know how many people have a national championship ring and a Super Bowl? He's I wearing them both right I now, got it looks two like. Championships. <laughs> got two national championships. He corrected me. He corrected me. McNeil again on the handoff uh -oh. from Pierman. All right. Got to use the timeout. Got to use the timeout. Timeout. Orange team, their second charge timeout. You know, you bring up the third second timeout. Super Bowl national championship thing. There's a lot of Clemson guys that have that. Yeah, I mean, a lot of Clemson you know, Justin guys. Ross is here, Cornell Powell, teammates. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And Cornell got activated and was really having a, a, a making a nice little jump, and he got hurt yep. in practice, and, and uh, they had the hour and the rest of the year. How about his story? I mean, just yeah. to go from the doghouse to the penthouse. Yeah, patience. You know, classic example of a kid that just had all the talent but had to put it together and had to had to really make his mind up that he was going to do what it took. And, man, when he did, he was awesome. Yeah. That's why he's – I think he was a fourth-round pick, third or fourth-round pick, and he's on about year three in the NFL. Third and three. McNeil oh, dropped boy. it. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, he was lucky. It bounced right oh, back up. Oh, There's a flag, oh, though. What's the flag? Offsides. Oh, my gosh. Guess what that is? First down. That's ball game. Offside. Defense, number 23. Five-yard penalty wow. results in a first down. All right, they, got, I mean, they still got a timeout left. That's ball game, though. You yeah. can take a knee. That's over. You wow. can go victory here. Hey, this was fun. Fourth year. You're doing some player interviews, and now we're getting to work. Along, <laughs> Victory! Hey, Ro for Philpott, how about a fake knee bomb right here? That sounds like a spring game. Let's do that. Victory! All right, boys, nice, nice working with y'all today. Yes, sir. How about the uh, All In Foundation last night? Just to uh, wrap it up, it was a big deal, right? Almost one point six five million dollars for this community, and man, we can't wait to give it all away. All Congrats. right, we got the first Gatorade bath, and hey, good luck the rest of the way. We appreciate Thanks, Coach. It, man. Thanks for the appreciate access. You we appreciate you. All right, now we got to do the Coach. alma mater. We're gonna put the words up on the screen so, so she you can, can sing, sing along. Amen. Twenty to thirteen, the white team over the orange on a picture perfect Saturday afternoon. The upcoming schedule this year, everybody turns their attention towards it, and you know, Clemson will be back in the mix for another ACC championship run. All starts Labor Day night at Duke in Durham, Charleston Southern FAU over the Final Four in basketball. Different story on the gridiron, FSU and what. Should be an enormous game. Oh, come on. Week number 40, Mac, this has been a ton of fun. Taylor, I hope you enjoyed it as well. I'm ready to go gather on the paw. Is that what we do now? Let's go. That's what we do. Taylor Tannenbaum, Eric Backlane, I'm Roy Philpott. Good afternoon from Death Valley, USA.